Businesses are looking to common and credible standards to drive participation on a new digital network, one that makes trade happen seamlessly for them with multiple parties. Now that's as trade transitions from paper to digital in the form of a trade trust network. Now since its launch, 18 major players have signed on at the World Economic Forum this week. Geraldine Yap with more. Shipping can be delayed when paperwork doesn't reach in time. But a solution might be found in the Trade Trust Network, pioneered by Singapore. A pilot transaction that took place on Trade Trust saw 20 million US dollars worth of iron ore shipped from Africa to China in just 20 days. That's half the time it usually takes. The Infocom Media Development Authority, or IMDA, says common standards are needed to drive such digitalized trade so that businesses can experience quicker turnarounds and earn better profits. DBS, who was part of this pilot transaction, agreed that the common standards for trade trust are useful in connecting different players across the world. We can bring multiple players, multiple platforms into this common language, common standard um, and common law governing all the multiple players. So it saves time, it saves effort um, and it drives efficiency, which is important now that the world is so globally connected, that the global trade world is also digitally connected with authentication and efficiency. Other participants are building more platforms and solutions on top of trade trust so that digitalized trade can be further enhanced. The ICC trade flow platform involved in the Pioneer transaction was built by tech provider Perlin with the International Chamber of Commerce. And Perlin says trustworthy standards and credibility are of the essence when players decide if the network is worth coming on to. Right now, there are many companies pursuing this type of technology to try to build a network effect. But the question always is, essentially, if you're sitting in Africa and I'm sitting in Asia and we hope to do a trade, how can I trust what laws, what norms, what standards, what backs it? And so having Singapore launch that gives it a huge amount of credibility globally just because of the standard that Singapore has established. But even as trade trust aligns with international standards, work continues by IMDA to keep these standards credible, relevant and useful for players. It is collaborating with the United Nations Centre for Trade Facilitation and Electronic Business and also the International Organisation for Standardisation to do so. And IMDA adds that like-minded players are welcome to join in conversations to further digital trade. More open inclusive and harmonised rules uh, across different jurisdictions, uh, across different marketplaces, benefits consumers, benefits businesses who are involved in those uh, ecosystems. means that we have all come together, like-minded partners come together to really understand the issues, work collaboratively together and figure things out. Currently, players such as MasterCard and Standard Chartered are already on board the network. But more can always be done as the digitalization of trade gains even more focus.